guy didn't get a couple of fouls early, but um, I thought he did a really good job in, in, uh, in defending George Hill, who uh, first first two games of this series, George Hill has really been has really played well. You know, he's shot the ball, uh, he's shot the ball extremely well. But tonight, I thought our guys just took the defensive challenge. Our defense was, you know, it was the thing that really got us going, uh, and you can see it early. You know, with the energy, we were really helping one another. I thought we did a, a really good job on the glass which um, our first two games against this Indiana club, they have just pounded us on the glass. We responded tonight um, and did a really good job in, in getting bodies on people and, and keeping them off the glass. And then we got out and, um, you know, we got out and ran. But uh, this game tonight was just really just about about us responding. I think, um, you know, in our shoot around this morning, uh, I can see that our guys were very loose. I can see that they were very, um, you know, they were ready to play. Um, Right before the game, before I went in with my uh, pregame speech, it was uh, you know it was very very quiet locker room, so that tells me that they were focused. Um, but it was the defense that that really uh, got us going tonight. We had some guys who who played really well on the offensive end. I thought Al Horford um, had a had a big game on the offensive end. Ivan Johnson came in off the bench and, and provided us with a lot of energy, which he has done um, you know he's done all year long. And then Kyle uh, hit some really timely shots. Um, and, and the one thing that you know, the one thing you can't do in a situation like this is um, you can't look too far ahead. As I told our guys before they hit the floor tonight, uh, the most important, uh, the most important game for us was was tonight. Um, and I wanted them to focus on just this game, nothing else. You know, we're not going to think about how many games we need to 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 catch Indiana or to to win the series or anything like that. That's not important. The most important game tonight was tonight's game. And the focus was uh, focus was tonight's game, but we held them to 20, uh, 27 percent shooting. So uh, again, it was our defense that really uh, that really got us over the hump. Please make sure to use the mic. When I ask question. How much flexibility did it give you when Petro started but only played six minutes because Ivan came in and played the rest of the half? Did that allow you flexibility as far as those matchups we talk about? Yeah, it really did. Um, <clears throat> as you guys know, our first couple of games um, against Indiana during the regular season, uh, we did go with the big lineup. Um, and that was, I think, and, uh, tonight was to go with the big lineup and use, uh, use Petro on, uh, you know, on Hibbert. And starting, starting Petro on Hibbert, um, it did give us some flexibility of where we could um, bring in, uh, we could bring in Ivan behind Petro, uh, who gives up size against Hibbert. But, I thought Ivan, uh, looking at the first couple of games that we played against him, he's done a he's done a, he's done a pretty good job uh, against Hibbert. Uh, he gives up a lot size wise, but um, for the most part, Ivan is a you know he has a very strong base, so he's he's defending him quite well. But starting Petro gave us a lot of flexibility. You know, we were able, we're able to one start start big on Hibbert, um, then two also start big on uh, on Paul George, which we wanted to try to. Uh, create an advantage for ourselves on the offensive end with Josh, and uh, we got some, you know, we got some good baskets out of that in, in posting Josh against George. So um, the adjustment that we made uh, as far as the lineup uh, seemed to uh, seemed to work tonight. Coach, you have scored <clears throat> fifty to thirty in the paint. What did y'all do differently offensively to get more paint points tonight? Um, I, I think you know with our our matchups. I think um, with. Um, you know, both uh, Josh and Al, we were able to post it a little bit more, um, and we made a conscious effort of really trying to um, try to create an advantage in the post. You know, we we probably posted the ball more than we did the first couple of games. Again, um, reason being because we had the big lineup, which we felt we had. Um, you know, we had uh, an advantage in, in, in going into the post. Both um, both Al and Josh got into a rhythm uh, down low and. We wanted to take full advantage of that. You know, we wanted to uh, try to post them as much as we could and try to force them to, uh, you know, come and help or double team. Um, but they didn't, and, and both Al and I thought Josh did a good job, and you know, in, in the paint. But uh, anytime we do go with the big lineup, we do try to, you know, post the ball a little bit more. And I thought tonight we did a very, uh, very effective job. Uh, Coach, talk about how <clears throat> the home court advantage tonight. Specifically, the way you play defense contributed to the win. Well, I mean, anytime you come home, and um, I mean, you can feel the energy. 
uh, when, 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 when you're out there. I know our guys uh, felt it the minute they hit the floor tonight. Um, and, and it really seemed to really get them going. I think, um, you know, defensively, we had talked about the first couple of, the first couple of games that we played that we had to, uh, we had to be solid <clears throat> defensively. And in the first two games of the series, we were not. We were, uh, we were a complete opposite. But uh, I really believe in my heart that um, this home court, you know, and coming home and coming out, getting out to a fast start, um, I know the crowd was, uh, was very instrumental in the way our guys played tonight. They played uh, with a lot of energy. Uh, you can see that they were amped up. Um, and, uh, you know, there were times where we were probably going a little bit too fast. But I'd rather, you know, try to tone them down than try to tone them up. Uh, but, but being at home, um, that is a tremendous, uh, that's a tremendous boost for us. And as, as I said, the, I know our guys really, uh, they really fed off the crowd. You know, we really played some really inspired basketball. And uh, we owe a great deal to uh, all the fans who came out and supported us tonight and, and, and were cheering us on. And um, our guys, I thought our guys responded to it tremendously. Coach, I, normally you really don't like to have to call the first time out of the game, and you had to call it early. Yes, I did. <laughs> what were you able to do differently? The team was able to do differently from that point. You guys went on like a twenty-six-seven run. Well, the first time out that, I, that you know that I called, I um, very early. I, I didn't like our, our body language. I didn't like our energy. The first three, first three, two or three minutes of that game, um, there was just um, you know, game just started. It seemed like we were already flatlined. Uh, we weren't going after loose balls. We weren't sprinting the floor uh, in transition. Um, we were doing things very slow, very methodical. And um, that first time out was just to give them a wake-up call. Um, after that, they seemed to respond. Um, you know, I don't like calling those early timeouts, but I will if I have to. Um, and our guys responded to it.